esports or electronic sports is the art of playing video games competitively. For the past 10 years, it's been a growing industry and it is where I found my passion and my drive to compete. For the past 10 years, it's been providing new opportunities and careers for young players with unique talents. But most importantly, it is, where, it is why I chose to pursue my passion seriously and it's why you should too. Much like real sports, esports has players who get sponsored, join teams, get kicked from teams, Go to, and go to matches. They even hire live. They even hire commentators to provide live coverage of each match of every match. Each of these people are dedicated and are passionate about what they do. Over a hundred million dollars worth of events are held every year for esports. Some of the most popular are the League of Legends Championship Series, the World Championship of StarCraft, and ESL alone. Um, Another form of esports, besides scoring the most points or being the last person uh, playing, is speedrunning. This is completing a game as fast as possible, and people compete for world records and personal bets. Every year, there are two events: Awesome Games Done Quick and Summer Games Done Quick, which are held over a weekend, and each raise over a million and a half dollars from Pre Prevent Cancer Foundation. Um, so, why should you pursue your passion? First of all, it's fun and it can become a career. When you're pursuing your passion, you're most likely going to enjoy whatever you're doing. And no one's gonna be able to tell you what to do and you'll also know what you're doing. In my own experience, I chose to channel my competitive energy into the game StarCraft, which is in my opinion, the most compelling game ever created. It's the largest global esport and has been growing rapidly and has contributed a lot to the esports community. So how do you begin pursuing your passion seriously? Many people are set back by the lack of time and don't know where to begin. I began by finding World of Warcraft tournaments and Starcraft tournaments online. Even though it wasn't very good, I was dedicated and I practiced until I could compete with the better players. The solution to this is to set short, amount of time, short amounts of time aside to practice. Because if you don't practice, you'll never get better. You can also look for famous people with the same passion as you and practice to improve and become more experienced every day. So a lot of people tell themselves or ask themselves if they have the experience to pursue their passion seriously or if they even have the knowledge. A lot of people also don't even know if there's, a, there's benefits for pursuing their passion seriously. Um, you can practice to gain experience, uh, most importantly, and you can also figure out who shares your passion. Surround yourself with the people that share the same passion as you and spend time practicing and learning more about it. Eventually, the practice and dedication that you um, contribute to your passion will pay off. So, a lot of people tell themselves that they have too little skill or they don't have enough time to pursue their passion seriously. They still don't even know where to start once they've overcome their hurdles. Um, the only solution to this is, again, is to look research professionals and imitate their strategies. You can make time and replace time that you'll no longer need if you choose to pursue it seriously and also practice. In conclusion, once you've found your passion and you've overcome your fears, you should pursue your passion seriously and go pro. Thank you. <laughs> These presentations represent the culmination of a semester of hard work. We spent the first nine weeks exploring our topics through a variety of writing assignments, including a research paper and a persuasive essay. We learned about ethos, pathos, and logos, and how to use specific persuasive techniques in our writing and our presentations. After spring break, we shifted our focus to creating prezies and practicing our presentations. Thank you for coming today to see our final presentations and for supporting us during the semester.